obviously you've been in entertainment for a very long time, right? Right. Was cloud chasing as bad back then as it is now? This with is, everyone having their own platform? Right. This is what I think. I think what we see is but, everything has been this way. It's just that social media has brought it out, but it's now a disease and it's destroying people. Mm. Like there's some people who you knew they were everywhere because they was hungry for success. Yeah. Maybe one or two people. Yeah. Now everybody was trying to get it. Yeah. Even when women are taking their pictures by themselves and they post it. Mm -hmm. You're looking for cloud chasing. You're looking for someone to acknowledge you, yeah. to say that you're beautiful, to say that you got, you're got you cute. And then if that person goes in your DM, all of a sudden he's thirsty or he's confusing, <laughs> but you were bait. You lured that person in to do it. It's like um, 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 setting a guy up for crime. You know, you put some money there, walk away, but if he takes it, you're going to lock him up. Yeah. I, I love asking OGs this question. You lived in a world, in your adult life, by the way, yes. where there was no social media. Absolutely. At all. I see Not it even all cell change. phones. Yep, well, so do, you, do you think social media has destroyed society? Oh, yes, absolutely. Okay. Done. I mean, think about it. Let's start with the kids. Depression went up over 1,000% since 2006. Yeah. This is a study out. Yeah, you're right. Depression. You got kids, they can't even do stuff around the house because they're like, I'm depressed. And you go, what the fuck are you depressed about? <laughs> <laughs> like, you, ain't, you ain't that Facts. warrior. Yeah. You got a house over your Facts. head and you're eating good. You got anything. But they will say that they're depressed. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and I tell people, and I had this on my program on my Instagram not too long ago, I think most people are programmed to think they're depressed. I, I agree really with you. That you're I agree. Depressed. It's not real. Over, we, I mean, we go a step further. We say it's not real. Yeah. Oh, but oh, uh, I, I over think, nothing. Yeah. I think people say it, and they, they, you hear people say depressed is real. But I truly believe that if your ass got up and worked out every day, if you stay constantly busy every day, yep. that you would not have time to think about depressed. But if you've been watching TV the majority of your life, if you're watching this phone. I'm jerking off. Yeah. You're day. watching this phone, and you yeah. start seeing depressed, depressed, you are program you was influenced mm. to think that way because some people are like i'm at this fucking job and i'm depressed yep no young lady you was programmed to think that you was depressed yep and people don't need to understand that and let me use an example in my era nobody really talked about depressed yeah <laughs> remember when they used to call it a shrink i mean i i you know at least when i was growing up like if you went to a shrink they'd make fun of you yes you know, I don't know if that if that yeah, but, I mean, call think it that about too. it. In my era, I swear to God, yeah. you never heard that shit. <laughs> you never heard motherfucking nigga. God damn, I ain't going to work. I got therapy. I'm oh, yeah, depressed, therapy, bro. I'm I never heard of that in my life yeah, until yeah. the last 20, 25 years. Yeah. Wow. Motherfuckers is depressed. This is a new thing to me. Epidemic. Epidemic. What is... And, 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 and man, sometimes I wish I could go back to the 90s and live in the 90s as an adult and kind of see what life was like. What is the biggest contrast difference between back then being an adult, right, and like going through life versus today? Back then, you want to talk to somebody, you had to call us, you had beeper or or go on a uh, you know a pay pay phone, right? Right. Versus now, you're just using a phone and text messaging or whatever. We were able, we knew how to talk to people. Mm. Now you don't, you guys talk everything through text. Mm. And I always tell people if they ask me for something, uh, you got to call me like a man or a woman. Because I call it passive aggressive. You ask me for something, gotcha. You don't want to hear the answer, so you're playing it safe. Mm. But you got to hear my voice. Okay. You got you got to talk to me. We are gonna talk. Like you ain't gonna just text me what you want and ain't gonna hear my voice. And that's what social media. I was in Detroit. Give me. I remember with us, like you wanted to jump on the phone and talk to us. I remember you know, that. I remember that. Right. Yeah. You didn't want to go back and forth on text. Like, hey, can we just set up a call? And I was right. like, yeah, sure. Yeah, remember that. Right? Yeah, I, I remember like, that. I ain't, I ain't doing all this fucking texting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I saw. Uh, I was in the green room, like in your guys' room. Yeah. In Detroit. And they were talking about creating a class to get children to learn how to communicate with each other. Wow. Exactly. Crazy world, man. I, I can't. I couldn't believe when I saw that. I couldn't believe what I was watching. Only getting worse too. It's only getting worse. AI. Even my daughter, who's beautiful, she'll yeah. say, "Dad, men don't come up and talk." Because my, I raise my kids a certain way. Yeah. Men don't approach women no more. Yeah, it's, it's actually not as common they, as people. You think, go yeah. to parties, women, men don't even ask women to dance. Yeah. You see a fine woman over there, they they stare and they hope that the girl come to them. Yeah, yeah. Back in my day, you saw a girl, hey, I got to buy you a drink, I have his dance. Yeah. And the girl was like, girl, bye. Yeah. You know, you, you take her by the hand, bye. Yeah. 
You know, you, you're doing yeah, all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. The guy, you see your homie, they're like, yo. You know, boy walk up with a bad check. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's how it was back yeah, in the yeah. day. Yeah. And we didn't have to worry about somebody going to kill you. Yeah. Mm. We knew everyone was going to have a good time. Call me when you get home. It was in the, You know, it was, it was beautiful. It's just it's changed, changed, Do you notice like a uh, like a big difference when you talk to someone that was born in maybe let's say the year two thousand versus talking to someone that was born in the year nineteen eighty? Now, when you explain the difference, what do you mean? Uh, like for example, someone that was born in like two thousand, and I've noticed this with talking with like younger people, because um, I was like the last generation, right? Like, mm -hmm. I was born in ninety, right? So mm -hmm. like I I didn't get sell social media stuff like that till I was already an adult. So thank God I grew up without that bullshit. Yes. So I was able to still understand that it's important to have the spoken word and talk to people. Right. But when I talk to people born in 2000, like these 20 year olds, et cetera, people born after that, I'm like, wow, like you have a real issue with being able to communicate effectively and be able to convey yourself in a way that I'm able to understand you. Like they just can't, I don't, I don't they, know what they it is. argue more and they see some people when they yell and argue, they think that they're right. Yeah. But that doesn't always work. Yeah. And the goal of, of being delivering the message is to make sure that you take the time to make sure that the person who's listening mm -hmm. truly understands what you're saying so you can truly comprehend. Yeah. And if you can't deliver what you're trying to say to me, there's no way I'm going to understand what you're talking about. Fair enough. So you stay away. When, that's why when I do meet women, instantly I ask them their age. I know who to stay away from. <laughs> And who not to? 20 and 23 years don't have their life together. They're searching. Um, 30 something years old, they're almost getting their life together, but they still out here still trying to do their thing. Mm -hmm. 40 year old women, depending on what their journeys were, is still trying. They probably had uh, baby daddy drama, still trying to get their life together, got their lives together, because they did have, make mistakes having babies, and they're still trying to get it, but they still have the early 30s. In them, but then there's a gift and a curse because if a girl don't take care of herself and she looks old as she gets 50, you don't really want to rock her because you made money, you're successful. You want a woman that took care of herself, but most women won't take care of herself. Yeah. So then you go a little younger because this girl looks attractive. Man, she's fine. Mm. I want to I want to be with someone that excites me. So it's all confusion out here. Yeah. You have no idea which way to go. So it's hit and miss, hit and miss. And I just wish you guys the best. <laughs> ah, yeah. you know, what's Stop left out here, here. That's all I'm going to say. Stop I wish you all the man. best. Um, guys, he is TK Kirkland, man. Make sure to go ahead and check out his tours, hey. man. He's going to be yep. um, he's gonna, for starting in uh, April 12th, you said, April right? April 12th, 13th, or 14th. The punchline. Go to Live Nation today. is going to be a sold-out event. I'm truly excited. And guys, listen to me. It took us the, almost a year to get here. But we did it. We're going to be back what, on the 26th. Yeah, and yes. you'll be back in Miami with us at our live event on yes. the 26th, guys. Yep. So make sure to come in. I'm pop looking in. forward to that. Check him out, man. We'll catch you guys.